The lights were on, but nobody was home at the Baby Cakes executive office on Wednesday. A few floors above, though, there was a lot more activity. The owners of NOLA Gold Rugby announced their team will move into the stadium, which had been home to the Zephyrs and later the Baby Cakes, next year. I think when those teams around the league look at their away games, all those other 14 cities, they look at the away game and say, where am I going to go watch my team? They're all going to point to the Nolans. You know, they're going to come here. Kyle France, who heads up the state agency that owns the stadium, says he welcomes the rugby team coming in, given that the Baby Cakes have gone. I'm excited for them. I mean, they, they were on the West Bank. They had maybe 2,000 fans at those games over there. And uh, I think they, they feel very confident that they'll have a really good crowd here at the, at the uh, Shrine and Airline. But the Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District will also look at other possible uses for the ballpark. We're doing a market study now on this, on this venue because we want to maximize its potential, whether it's rugby, soccer, baseball, high school football, all of those combined. And once we get that back, then we'll know where we want to move uh, as, as a forward direction. You can still see where the infield was at the stadium, but grass now covers it, and goalposts are set up as part of the new rugby field. With a new team comes a new nickname for the stadium, no longer the Shrine on Airline. Now it's the gold mine at the Shrine on Airline with thousands more seats, and the team hopes they can fill every single one of them. There's a big opportunity here because you have the real estate, so hopefully, you know, we fill it up. That'd be great. Time will tell. Reporting in Metairie, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.